Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Um, today we're going to take a look at just a quick kind of simple ServiceNow thing. Um, so if you're new to ServiceNow, one of the things that you may find, uh, and we've had questions on this in the past, um, is uh, you're unable to edit something. You've checked, maybe you've checked ACLs, you've checked everything, and you're an administrator, you should be able to edit it. Well, one of the things that could happen is that you may have accidentally gotten off of your uh, the default, the global application. So we're going to take a look at how to show which application you're in, as well as how to show the update set. Uh, and then I'll talk uh, a brief second on the domain as well. So to get them to show up in your bar, or even just to change them, if you click this settings icon up here in the upper right hand corner, if you are using domain separation in this general tab, you will see the ability to have uh, your domain selector. Uh, it can be super helpful when you're doing, uh, when you are a domain separated instance, um, to have that up here at the top so you can, you know exactly which domain you're in. Um, for troubleshooting wise, it's very helpful as well. Then if we click on this developer tab here, we see application and update set. Now you can change them directly from here. So uh, if you accidentally got into the benchmark client application, now this may uh, block you from editing certain things, certain things may show up gray. So make sure that you go back into your global application. Your update set is gonna be right here. Uh, I've only got two update sets in this one currently. So I've got the default and I've got this new update set. So make sure if you're doing development, you're not doing it in the default one. Um, typically, uh, you don't want to be doing that. You want to have a separate update set that's capturing just the updates that you want so you can push it onto your other systems. Now, one of the things that I do uh, first whenever I start working in ServiceNow is I'll actually show the application in the header and I'll also show the update set picker in the header. As you can see, what this now does, this puts the update set here as well as the application. So now, uh, no matter where I'm at, if I'm working on an incident, these will continuously stay in the header and I can see where they are. I can make sure that I'm in a global application or if I need to change it for whatever reason, uh, maybe I'm doing some change management items for the cab and I need to go to the cab workbench, for instance, I can change it quickly right here. Same for the update sets. Uh, if I'm working in between multiple update sets or there's some things I don't want to be captured in my update set, maybe I'll put it back in the default. I can do that quickly and easily here without uh, either going into the update sets and making it current or going into the settings, going to this developer tab and changing it here. So it's super quick, super easy, uh, and just extremely helpful. That's all I've got for today. Thanks and have a great day.